I get you up to speed. We're starting with weather and we're heading over to Crystal. So from the stadium to here, you'll be bouncing back and forth. I'm virtually everywhere You're this everywhere. morning. You really are. You really <laughs> I don't really know if the weather matters today because everyone's going to be inside on their computers. But might I suggest you take your favorite credit card and your iPad, smartphone, whatever it is you're going to be doing shopping on and enjoy it out on the patio. Buy that favorite pair of shoes or if you're Emma, a vacuum. I mean, what? how fun is that? Called out at 5.01. <laughs> you know how to- That's her favorite I purchase, a vacuum. Come on, Emma. I Jewelry, a, clothes, shoes. I have a soon to be mother of three. We like vacuums. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get Emma shopping later. 75 <laughs> degrees out there, that's why you want to take that iPad outside. Plenty of sunshine. 71 is what we call normal this time of year, so we're slightly above average with some breezes out there. Now in the high country, you're going to want to stay inside and perhaps light a fire. 46 degrees, but you can't take that at face value because with the winds kicking in at times, it's going to feel no better than the upper 30s later on this afternoon. This is the wind chill. You could see it hour by hour, and the warmest you're going to see here for those feels like temperatures is 39. Vanessa, over to you. All right, thank you, Crystal. So we do have one accident that just popped up this morning in the West Valley. It's on Litchfield Road at South Gate, so just be aware of that one. It's not causing any major issues for you at this time, but I'll let you know if anything changes. We have a lot of green on our maps all the way from the east to the west, but let's plan ahead. Let's take a look at 6.30 a.m. That's where we start to see some changes on the 17th southbound as you approach Glendale. You're going to hit heavy traffic in the I-10 heading east. We'll start moving slowly as you approach 75th Avenue. So heads up for that. I'll give you my full report coming up in a few minutes. Rachel? All right, thanks a lot, Vanessa. You know, the busiest travel day of the year made worse by Mother Nature. A winter storm wreaking havoc on the Midwest, leaving thousands of delayed flights and hundreds of cancellations at airports across the country. So how are we doing this morning? Team 12's Adam Bagney joins us live from Sky Harbor. Adam, what's the board looking like? Are we seeing anything fix itself? I mean, now it's Monday, right? All right, so we're going to show you the board in a minute here, but while the weather was pretty good here this weekend, as Crystal was mentioning, that was not the case across the country. Thousands of flights canceled all over the place. 800 guys in Chicago alone. And as we look at that board this morning, we see the flights to Chicago. Those are the ones that are not going to get off. One inbound, one outbound already canceled this morning and a couple delayed as well. Blizzard warnings, guys, across the nation, particularly in the middle of the country. That's what's triggered all of this. Lots of snow from the Great Plains through the Great Lakes and everywhere in between. There were some major wind advisories Sunday in places like Texas and Illinois and in Kansas, the governor actually had to declare a state of emergency. It was even worse, guys, for some of those folks that decided to drive. Some people ran into whiteout conditions. There were huge stretches of highway that had to be closed in places like Nebraska and Missouri due to a gluttony of crashes all over the place. But again, as we look at the board this morning, it's those flights to Chicago that look like they're going to be a problem. There's one flight that's canceled to Houston as well. So if that's the area that you're headed, uh, not going to work out this morning. All right. Thanks, Adam. It's busy. It's the holidays. It's kind of what you expect. Yeah, unfortunately, we were saying, you know, it's not even really worth it probably to no. take a chance when the weather is so unpredictable this time of year, especially with the snowstorms and whatnot. Mm. And when you live in Arizona, why would you leave? 504 is your time. Let's get you up to speed on what else you need to know before you head out the door this morning on Today in AZ. It has been a chaotic 24 hours at the U.S.-Mexico border. Could get even more tense. Hundreds of migrants trying to enter the U.S. yesterday were met with tear gas from American authorities. 39 migrants arrested. The border between San Diego and Tijuana eventually shut down for hours. And while parts are now back open, the fight is it's far from over. How the White House is responding in a live report from Washington, D.C. That's coming up at 540 for you. And Arizona Governor Doug Ducey is headed to Mexico. He's expected to meet with government officials and business leaders at the annual Arizona Mexico Commission meeting that's on Friday. He'll also be a guest at the inauguration of the new Mexican president in Mexico City. That's happening on Saturday. A new government report claims climate control has hit Arizona especially hard. The report looks at the past 100 years and the next 100, concluding that human-caused climate change has led to more intense droughts, depleted groundwater, dying trees, and more severe wildfires. Researchers say without major reduction in emissions worldwide, the average temperature could go up by 9 degrees by the end of the century. I don't know if we can handle nine more degrees. No. Cameras roll. Take a look as three burglary suspects break into and steal a bunch of stuff out of a Valley storage facility. This happened right at 51st Avenue in McDowell. Happened on Sunday, November 11th. One person has been arrested and now Silent Witness needs help tracking down these two people. 
So if you have any information, again, when you call Silent Witness, you remain anonymous. That number is 480-WITNESS.